It wouldn't be list season without me highlighting the best running shoe deal of 2023. And that's exactly what I'm going to do today. So if you've been following this channel for a while, you know that every weekend I round up the 10 best running shoe deals out there. There's been one shoe that consistently has been making the cut week after week with some of the lowest prices we've seen for a daily trainer. Now that shoe is the Adidas Audi Zero SL, which also happens to be one of my favorite daily trainers of the past year. So in this video, I'm gonna break down down everything I love about the shoe, including the ride, midsole, upper, and let you know whether it might fit into your rotation as we head into those cold winter months. All right, guys, before we get into it today, if you haven't checked out the Running Shoe Matcher tool yet, go to runningshoematcher.com. This is a really cool tool I built that matches you with the best shoe for you based on your goals and preferences. So you can go in there, answer five questions about what type of shoe you're looking for, whether you want a daily trainer, a tempo shoe, or a race day shoe, whether you like your shoe soft or firm, and we will match you with the best shoe for you. So it's live right now, and it's free. You can check it out at runningshoematcher.com, and I'll put a link in the description below. The Adidas Audi Zero SL is a daily trainer that Adidas introduced into their lineup in late 2022 as that rival to the Nike Pegasus Saucony Ride to be that workhorse in the stable. Now in the past month or so, we've seen Adidas also introduce the Supernova Rise, which is their second crack at a daily trainer. But this is the one that leans toward the faster end of the spectrum. So this is in Adidas's Audi Zero line. For Adidas, Audi Zero is their fast line of shoes. You can think of it like the Saucony Endorphin line. So you have this as their entry level speed option. You have the Takumi Sen as that super fast, snappy 5k, 10k racing option. And then you have the Boston 12 as that long run, fast training, marathon training option. So at the bottom of the Audi Zero lineup, the value proposition of the Audi Zero SL is already one of affordable speed. And as such, it's priced at $120, which undercuts a lot of those popular daily trainers I mentioned, like the Saucony Ride and the Nike Pegasus by $10 to $20. Now, over the past year, almost since release, We've seen this thing priced anywhere from $65 to $35 on deep discounts. And more recently over the past month, it's been stuck at that basement bargain $35 price point. Now we do know the Audi Zero SL2 is coming next year, which is gonna have a bit of a softer ride. It's gonna have more of the Light Strike Pro foam in the midsole, but this still represents an excellent value as a firmer daily trainer with the potential to run some faster sessions. Now diving into the midsole here, this is mainly Light Strike, which is a standard EVA foam. So EVA is a lot firmer than those modern training and racing foams that we've come to be accustomed to. If you think about Asics with their FF Blast Plus foam or Saucony with their Power Run PB foam, those are both gonna be a lot softer than what we see here in this Light Strike. Light Strike is almost a holdout of the OG old school type of training foams that were very firm and that weren't designed for maximum cushioning and protection. So the stack in this isn't low, it's 35 millimeters in the heel, but with that firmer foam, it rides like a little bit of a lower stacked shoe, one where it's not gonna provide a ton of that impact absorption and it is designed to perform best at faster speeds. Now that's also because up here in the forefoot, you see there's a puck of Light Strike Pro. So Light Strike Pro is that same foam that's in the top layer of the Boston 12, that's in that Takumi Sen. It's Adidas's fast race day foam. And in here, it activates in the forefoot when you're running with strength and speed, you can really Really get a nice pop off the toe. So for a price point of $35, you're not gonna find any better ride out there than this one. You're not gonna find any other shoe consistently priced under $100 that incorporates a race day foam into the midsole. Now, this is also a very durable shoe. I have nearly 300 miles on this pair and you can see the outsole is in really good condition. I tend to wear through completely on this back area at about 250 miles. This one has not done that. Now, this is not Adidas's Continental Rubber and that's one of the reasons that the price point of this is allowed to be a little bit lower, 120 MSRP and then of course $35 on sale right now. So you're not gonna get as much traction as the Continental, but with this thing, frankly, I can't tell that much of a difference in the outsole rubber of this compared to the Boston 12, which does use that continental rubber. Now, in terms of the upper and fit on this, it is a little bit on the narrow side in the toe box. It's most certainly not the narrowest shoe that I have, but it's also not super accommodating and wide, like something like the New Balance 1080 13, for example, that is a very accommodating shoe. So if you have a medium to narrow foot, you can get away with this. This probably isn't going to work great for wide footed runners. I do believe that they carry this in wide. I will confirm that and put a little note up here. But if you're a wide footed runner, the standard version likely won't be great for you. However, I really love the amount of 
padding that they put around the back here and step in feel and comfort is pretty comfortable in this. One of the areas that budget shoes tend to cheap out on is in the materials of the upper. The construction on this is high quality. It's very durable and it feels great on foot. Now the key downside here is going to be the firmness of the foam. If you're a runner who does not love firm foams, this is not going to be for you. Similarly, if you don't like to run a lot of your miles fast, if you like to have a more relaxed daily trainer for those everyday running efforts, this is also not gonna be a great shoe for that. This is for those runners who like to go out there and give a little bit of pace on their everyday runs. I'm running in a different rotation right now, but over the summer, this was one of the main three or four shoes in my rotation. And this is the one that I would pull for on those double days when I wanted to give a little bit of pace for my second run. When I'm running with the stroller, I tend to like a little bit more of a firm planted ride, so I'd use that for these runs. Also for any of those steady run efforts, those long runs when I had some marathon pace, maybe this is a great shoe for that. It is on the more simple end of the spectrum. There's no plates, there's no weird tech. Yes, it has the Light Strike Pro puck up here, but it doesn't interfere with the ride too much and give an overly enhanced experience. So great if you want something pure, simple, and firm. Not so great if you're used to running in those marshmallowy shoes or you need something super supportive for some overpronation issues. This is firmly a neutral shoe, going to work best for runners who don't need a lot of support and stability. It's not necessarily an unstable shoe, but it also doesn't provide any other elements of prescriptive stability in here. For example, there's not even a wider heel on the back. It is a relatively narrower platform through the back area here, so it is going to be best for those runners who are landing mid to forefoot or heel striking, but able to run with strength in this shoe. If you're a neutral runner who doesn't mind a firmer, faster ride, this has a place in your rotation. This would also make a great Christmas gift if you have a younger runner in your life. This is a great shoe for high school athletes, for any athletes who like to go out there and push the pace on their everyday runs. This is one of the top shoes out there regardless of the price. All right, guys, there you have it. Those are my thoughts on the Adidas Audi Zero SL. I am super looking forward to the SL2 to come out next year. I'll keep you posted when I get all the details on that. But for now, go make sure to grab those SL1s. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking and subscribing. And I'll be back tomorrow with another video.